you are correct there is no need however remember the original goal the original promise in vedanta what did we start with dukha nivritti ananda prapti now i must honestly say to myself has my sorrow gone internally i must be honest am i fully satisfied in bliss after this realization also all is brahman naham brahmasmi now there is this discussion again jivan mukti viveka uh, vidyaranya swami that there is the difference between what is they call krita upasti or krita upasti those who have followed a strict regime of spiritual practice going step by step coming to this realization they don't need anything more they will automatically be jivan mukta they will get ananda and they will attain dukkha nivritti but if i if i if i still feel that my sorrow has not gone i still am struggling with some problems even though i am convinced i am convinced at least intellectually convinced brahman is the only reality i am brahman i'm convinced and yet moment to moment i am feeling some problems once in a while then it's good to remove those uh, doubts it's good to remove those problems also for that nididhyasan is recommended uh, vidyarnya swami gives a whole list of um, uh, severe practices to overcome those problems why full blown uh, joy of jivan mukti ma sharada she put it very very nicely this is a very simple way avoiding all these terms somebody took mantra diksha from her and after taking mantra diksha from her that uh, gentleman or lady i don't know asked the mother ma sharada suppose i don't repeat the mantra then what will happen then the mother said my child you have taken mantra diksha from me you need not worry at the end of your life um, lord the lord will come and take you. Uh, you your your moksha is guaranteed however however if you want joy in this life you will have to practice so if you are not getting joy even after vedanta brahma gyan and so and so forth then uh, the problems which you are facing have to be removed for those the practices manonasha vasana kshaya have to be gone through one sadhu put it this way we let us forget this advanced um, that enlightenment all that we have studied vedanta we have got some conviction in vedanta what next what next many people ask everything is an appearance as you are saying it is true technically nothing more needs to be done but i am feeling a problem what can i do about that i admit the logic of your argument but emotionally i am suffering so what what to do uh, then one sadhu um, he said actually the interesting thing was one one gentleman had got a kidney transplant and, the, and he came and bowed down before that sadhu and the it's actual incident the sadhu was asking how are you the gentleman said that the kidney has been transplanted but doctor has told me that i have to follow strict diet medicines etc then the sadhu who did not know much about modern medicine he said why you have got this new organ so why are why do you need to follow any more restrictions the gentleman said the doctor told me if i don't follow these restrictions three things will happen one is this organ will not be integrated with the rest of the body second i will not get the benefit from this organ third the organ will die yeah. then uh, that's what happens in the immune system rejects the new organ then that sadhu was so excited he looked at the rest of us and said yehi hai mahatma ji you are studying vedanta now you must do two, these three things that unless you engage in serious spiritual practice meditation japa uh nishkam karma all of these practices and a strict moral ethical life you don't engage in it what will happen is this new knowledge which you are getting which you are excited about you are convinced about am brahmasmi it will not be integrated into your personality number 1 number 2 you will not get the benefit from it that the joy which will come removal of sorrow you will not get the benefit third it will it will not die but it will get covered over if, if you don't Uh, he says, "Iska charcha agar nahi kiya to, if you if you don't hold on to it and cultivate it, yeah, that's my answer."